Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you with the weekend update. Yeah, the background's different again. We're kind of moving things around. We've got the update about the, well, not really update, but more uh, references about our little uh, next expansion announcement and the mobile game, more of a random, at least we have a month, and a few other little updates. I holding up in uh, Zerga Mortis. Am I even saying that right? I should just say ZM because I know I've got to screw that up. Let's get into this, shall we? Dr. Fox back here with you, the weekend update. How are you all holding up? This is the next week in March. I know next week it'll be, oh, Frank Patty's Day. So uh, I don't know if you're going to be celebrating it. I know I have a chunk of Irish in me as well. We have our little St. Patrick's sign out. We're going to go and, and try to enjoy a little uh, shamrock shake uh, while we're out running errands and some appointments that day. Uh, the next expansion, April 19th. We'll know more details, whether they're just, you know, we might get a little teaser or something like that. On, you know, I know the last Shadowlands came on October 13th, so if we kind of go by that and then we look back at every other release, we may see, excuse me, most likely something probably fall. On the other hand, we've seen some releases come out around like Labor Day, uh, the tail end of August. Uh, I think we'll probably get that with Wrath next year. Usually we get the retail and then we get the classic the following year in between. And then the following year will be another if we, I don't know whether we're going to get another expansion after this next one. I know that all depends on a lot of factors. And speaking of that, the mobile game has been announced for what? And it's a WoW themed. You'd think that like, I know there's a lot of folks kind of wanting like myself, I'd love a, like an integrated kind of uh, a pet battle kind of integrate into the WoW companion already, but I think this is going to be a standalone type. Uh, more like that type would you saw with Diablo Immortal or some of the other games where there's sort of this pay-to-play. I know Diablo Immortal is not going to be quite like that, but that's just, I'm just trying to give one example of kind of where we've seen this go, or it's maybe if we look something like, like at Minecraft or something, but if we're trying to integrate more of something that's appable, or in this case an app, not just on a computer or a console or something, which, I, to be honest, I'm still waiting for my day. Someday, I hope, we get the console for this guy. <laughs> and they've integrated this since Legion to be able to use controls. Yes, I know some will say, Dr. Fox, just download the little app that you can integrate your, you know, or use the, the add-on that, like, kind of turns it into you. I've tried it. It doesn't work the way I hope. And then they'll go, well, that will pretty much be how it will work on console. I'm like, look, I kind of get that, okay, but there's still some variance. So let's just put the variance aside and just enjoy the moment that someone wants and is looking forward to a variant. And that's fine. Instead of trying to tear, always tear us apart because no matter we know what, or what someone says, they're going to have a contradiction to it. So with that said, I think that will allow us to integrate into our next thing. I know we got Unlocking Flying this week coming. I know I'm excited for that. I know my other half, we, we got him all set up as well. We, we ran our... We got everything caught up. We started to do some days. It felt so good for us to start doing some dailies and kind of rocking that out. We're very excited for those. It's it's the achievement. If this helps any, unlocking the secrets. That's the name of the achievement. If you kind of type that in to, to look for that, there are six things you're going to need. You got to do uh, ten different bosses, five different treasures. I know that has been kind of a difficult challenge for that, but I know some have changed the Vanthyr, and then you can portal up there to some. And of course, I didn't even think about that. Like That didn't even connect. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and then that some are getting a trinket that re uh, allows you to do it even more, and then I guess some have a power-up that makes them be able to jump really high, and I haven't gotten that, so I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to wait for flying to drop for me this week. Hope everybody is enjoying. Where is Miss Mora this week? Miss Ricky? I know I'm excited for flying this week. I'm like, I want to be able to take off that ground. We won't have, and I look at, I remember looking at my hubby and I'm like, guess what? I'm like, we will not have to trudge around on the ground between these enemies. I go, we clear out what we got to clear out in that one spot. Jump on and bam, we take off for the skies. Finally, that's, I always look forward to when flying drops. And look, I understand I'm excited for when you first drop so you can enjoy all the art department and all their beautiful work for the first major patch, you know, that comes out of course, or patch or two. And then you're off and you're flying, you know, and so there's all this mix. But all I'm saying is I look forward to it when it does come uh, as an option later. And don't get me wrong, I still enjoy a good part of the early parts of expansions when you can 
run around and enjoy a new place on the ground. But after a while, after you do it once, you're like, all right, I'm ready to <laughs> fly with my alts, you know. I don't want to do that all over again. I'm glad they're making it a little bit more sort of all friendly on some of the quests that you can now skip a bit. And I'd love to see them go back. I know right now it's okay. They're focused on getting their next expansion. Of course, I don't want to sound like I'm asking them too much to do. But I'll be maybe as a side note, something to look back at at some point to maybe go back and allow you to skip a bunch of older content too while you're loving and loving it all. And then someone will go, yeah, but you can pay the $60 and get a boosted character, boom, right to 60 I don't want to do that. <laughs> there should be alternatives for us. And I think with that, we can kind of segue into our next thing as well. Of course, the last three bosses have been, I've been kind of keeping a little tiny eye every once in a while on the world's first. We've got a few people uh, plugging away at it. I think the name of one of the guilds is like Liquid or what? I don't know, but maybe they already have their results and I'm sitting here going, and I'm just not doing my research to find out already that there's some guild has already popped it. And I didn't even know. Uh, but that's as of what I last knew. Uh, and that could have changed. As well as now you can do your max legendaries as well. I know some are popping up on the on the auction house. Yeah, they are way over in price. I don't have that kind of gold to drop. <laughs> but I know you can you can grind these other little goodies in there. And I know I was doing it in the south. I haven't been able to build some of my... I know I did get the little option to open up and I can start to make pets and mounts. And I haven't been able to make it. I got tons of materials. I just... I forgot where it was. I gotta go look it up and find where, where that location is again. I gotta mark it on the map or something. Because I can't remember <laughs> where it is. I was like, oh no. Uh, of course... Uh, oh my goodness here. Oh, I think today going to switch gears and I know this one's kind of broken this is well overplayed today's transform from our pull from our transform museum is cliff jumper and many of you might know uh, Casey Kasem voice for gen 1 cliff jumper of course we got a different gen voice for uh, when we had transformers prime and cliff jumper was at the beginning and sadly without giving away what has happened to him but this is uh, the gen 1 cliff jumper some have called him Cliff Jump. If you, any of you remember that episode, and he's like Cliff Jumper, and he's like, oh yes, Cliff Jumper, and because he, he called him Cliff Jump, and one of the announcers. Uh, anyway, but this it, basically it's a remold of Bumblebee, or you could say Cliff Jumper is a remold. Uh, I mean, Bumblebee is a remold of Cliff Jumper. So it all depends on who which came first, Cliff Jumper or the Bumblebee instead of Chicken or the Egg. But uh, this, this is this, this is this. this I know there was also that the day out of version that came out with that there was like a yellow cliff jumper I think I had one of those and it was this really rare like miscolored or misprint you know like sometimes they get those and then they're worth like varying some out more because it never happened again after that and they, they pulled them off the shelf but sadly the, my little guy has had a little piece of his frame right here on the edge right there um, it kind of broke but I still am very fond of my little guy here and his little rubby symbol is kind of wearing down. He's pretty much had it at this point, but there's a good old cliff jumper, so pulled them out of our Transformer reveal for the weekend. We thought we'd uh, wrap up the, the not the mini cons, the, the mini bots, if you will, for, for Gen 1. And uh, so there's, there's good old cliff jumper. I actually, I, you know, to be honest, I kind of have a little Kia that looks similar to, to this type of shape almost because he's got the little running bar on the back or I forget what they call that I think that's what I forget the name anyway so there's there's our little wrap up of those and I think with that we'll be going in another direction that's all that's my one hint for next weekend's Transformer reveal I think and I think uh, with that let's get into I love my love my love my calendar kitties three little calendar kitties yes Hey, Miss Pacey. I just want to reach over there in the other screen going, click, 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 click. <laughs> Oh, sugar. And no, I don't have like short, slick back hair. It's just, you probably can't see it. I've got my ponytail back. I just, I cleaned it off. It feels good because usually it's like, got a, I got all these crazy pieces all out of the, going crazy with my hair. And I have a hard time. And I just finally get, it's starting to finally get to a, a length where I can kind of pull it all back now because, all those parts were much shorter and they wouldn't cut it, catch and 
This is really hard. And I like a nice clean when my hair's back and out of the way, just cleaned right up where there's no little extra pieces hanging. And I just, I like that, that style. So let's see. And then I have been uh, leveling. I have leveled, I, I actually named her Chiana, but someone took Chiana. So I added an extra A. And then we made that one, and then uh, my hubby, just he just started making some of his alts the other day, and we had a lot of fun creating those. Those were a lot of fun to do. And we got really creative with some of the names, and <laughs> I thought that was really, really cool. Um, so we're going to look at our, our calendar this week, and where we are. Of course, any of you that happen to catch me here on a Saturday, this is a wrap-up of Dark Moon Fair tonight. Make sure to get in there before 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's midnight Pacific. Uh, if that helps any for you as well. And then we've got the Shadowlands dungeon event. That's ending right now if you want to be running through some old dungeons. to get an extra piece of gears for older gears. But we know that if you can just get to 60 and then get into the Zero Mortis, you can start catching up, getting much more catch-up gear, literally starting from 226 item levels and up very, very, very quickly. And so that, that should help you in that aspect. Or some that like to run dungeons, that's, a, that's an option too. Pet Battle Bonus Event, that's going to be beginning this Tuesday as well. PvP Brawl Classic Ashran begins PvP Brawl for you PvPers. Remember the South Shore versus Torn Mill, that's ending. So before Tuesday, you want that very layer recipe, you want to get in there <laughs> and snag it uh, if at all possible. So there's just a few things. Of course, we got Ugong. Ungora Madness coming next later next week. On and then we got uh, Trial of Style coming up there along, along the end of the week. There's a time walk in the following week after that as we get in. We'll be with you for another weekend. I'm not sure about the following weekend yet because we're kind of planning some things out with that. I'll have to kind of leave that kind of until we get closer till we know for sure. Um, sadly, this last weekend I couldn't get my... my um, some of my hair blast done as I had hoped to be getting done, um, not by choice, trust me. And, and then of course to see gas prices going well up over four plus dollars a gallon, you know, I'm ready to, that's why I started changing the that old classic tune, Vacation, you know. I would change it to, Staycation, my hubby's greater staycation, <laughs> jump, jump, <laughs> So I think with that, we're going to kind of wrap it up. I hope you get through another week. Stay safe. Stay strong. Um, do everything you can to kind of hold yourself um, up for another couple of days. I know it's not easy. I feel for you. It sucks butt on a lot of aspects. I, 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 I feel the pain uh, in every form and fashion. I think that uh, hopefully that can hold you through for at least a few days. Um, and until then, we'll talk to you next time. And once again, you know the drill. We will. Make more, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.